you gonna help me do today's video? Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. I decided to kind of sit down and share my tips and tricks on how I pack my kiddos lunchbox. If you are a religious watcher, um, I used to share, last year I shared um, what I packed him for lunch. I no longer do that just because it was a lot of grief and I wasn't going to deal with it. <laughs> but, so I don't share the actual lunches on here, um, but I do share them on Instagram and I do share them on TikTok as well. So you can find both of those links in the description box if you are interested and want some picky eater lunchbox ideas. Definitely find those two accounts and follow both or one of them, whatever you prefer. <laughs> Um, but I have made me a little list of kind of stuff that I do to help me um, with lunches. Um, I've had a lot of mamas reach out and be like, hey, you know, how do you do it? How do you keep it on a budget? You know, I stress out about feeding my kiddos. And so I thought I would make this video just to kind of share my tips and tricks with you guys and to reassure you mama and daddies, grandparents, whoever the guardian is of these kiddos, that it is okay. It doesn't have to be fancy. I always say that in all my videos, it doesn't have to be fancy just as long as they are fed. Fed is best, it doesn't matter what it is. And you have to remember too that this is only one meal a day. You know what I'm saying? Like you're packing your kiddos one meal a day but they which Winston eats breakfast at school as well but if your kiddo you know eats at home for breakfast and then of course they eat home in the evenings um so you got to remember that this is just one meal so if they're eating the same thing every single day that's fine because that's what they want and that's what they're going to eat and you know that they're going to be fed and they're going to be happy um so one of the things that I do is I don't send new foods with him in his lunchbox. Um, for me, um, packing a school lunch is safe foods. So I know that he's going to be fed. Um, no matter what I pack, he's going to eat it. He's going to get full and fueled and all the things that are needed for, you know, a kiddo being in, um, you know, the school. So um, I don't pack new foods. You have dinners, you have snack at home, you have the weekends to try new foods with your kiddos. That way you know if they're going to like them or not and you know that you could pack them in the future. Um, I would hate to send a new food and then them not, like him not like it and then him come home hungry. You know what I'm saying? Like they do get snack in the evenings, but still, you know, him being hungry for that period of time where he has lunch and if he doesn't eat till they get snack, you know, it's going to be hard for him to concentrate if he didn't, doesn't get a full tummy in the, in the cafeteria. Um, so I don't send new foods and I pack things that he likes. Um, for, if you watch previous, um, lunchbox videos from last year, I'll have that. I still have that playlist. I'll have it linked down below for you guys. You can still find a ton of inspiration on there, but y'all see a lot of the similar, similar lunches week to week because that's stuff that he likes. I pack the foods that he likes that I know that he's going to eat. Um, so if you are new here, we have one kiddo. Um, he is seven years old and he is in first grade this year. So, and he, he's going through this stage where even similar foods that he used to like, he's not liking his texture issues that I've noticed. Um, and so he doesn't eat any vegetables, honestly really he doesn't eat vegetables uh he does not even eat mashed potatoes like that's how picky this kid is he only kind of potatoes he will eat is french fries or tater tots <laughs> he does not like potato mashed potatoes or nothing he is super super picky kid which is like say like 70 to 80 percent of the kiddos in this world um and so like i know these tips and tricks are going to help a lot of you guys because it's just realistic and i share real life on here you know, realistic meals and lunches and all that stuff. So, um, I always pack what he likes. And then another thing I thought might be a tip would be, um, so, and this is going to come with budgeting. If you need to be on a super tight budget to be able to, you know, feed your kiddo through the week, instead of buying like, like when you sit down and plan out, if you plan out, that's another one, plan out 
the plan out your lunches if, even if it's a full month of planning it out or if it's just a week planning it out honestly sitting down and planning out a lunch menu is going to save you a ton of money whenever you go to the grocery store to get it um but what i like to do for fruits because i just said he doesn't eat vegetables but if your kiddo eats veggies you can do this with veggies as well we pick two fruits for the whole week and i alternate them through the week throughout the week so I'm not buying a bunch of stuff like grapes I'm not buying you know I'm not buying four different kinds of fruits and then half of them getting wasted because he's not home to eat them because he's at school all day and I'm only packing one meal a day you know what I'm saying which so and and this might be a, just a tip for me because I have one kiddo you know if you have a bigger family of course you're gonna need more food but for me I pick out I have him pick out two fruits every single week and we alternate it throughout the week and then the same thing if your kiddo eats veggies pick two veggies and have them alternate it throughout the week it doesn't have to be a brand new fruit veggie meal every single day of the week for you to save money as well do that pick two you know two of everything or say this week you can pick one dessert you know or you can pick one kind of cracker so like if they want goldfish all week and they get goldfish all week like that's gonna help you save money in your budget and still feed them foods that they like and but you're not gonna be wasting a lot of food and having to buy a lot of extras um let's see I don't pack hot lunches anymore I used to there is a few hot lunches on a couple of the lunchbox videos I don't pack them anymore because I noticed whenever I was packing them so like you have your like hot lunch thermos and then you might have a container of goldfish a container of fruit or you know you have multiple containers and so that's just way too many things for him to open and he wasn't sitting down and seeing the full variety of everything and being able just to open that one box and sit down and eat they literally have like 15 maybe 20 minutes to eat lunch every single day and so I noticed that when I was packing him hot lunches that he was not eating near as much because he had to open and worry about so many different containers so I stopped doing the hot lunches and I just did the bent go and he he eats it all because it's everything's in one you literally open it up he opens it up for lunchtime he has all his variety there he can pick what he wants you know eat out of that one thing close it and he's done he doesn't have to worry about multiple containers and trying to keep up with all that and everything so for us that really did help with his overall eating because like I said it's all which I absolutely love the bent go box so much and I have tried other brands I've tried um, a couple different brands from Walmart and they just did not they did not do as well with the bent go this is the second year that we've used the bent go um, and it is it's absolutely amazing I love them they have the little seals at the top um, and so that way it completely blocks off each compartment and so like I can pack him yogurt I can pack syrup I can pack ketchup I can pack any of that stuff and it stays within that compartment that I put it in and it does not leak. It does not leak at all. It, I've been amazed by Bent Go. They are pretty pricey. You can, can get them on sale sometimes on Amazon um, or even Sam's Club. The one that we got in this time we picked up at Sam's Club. Um, but I always have, I have the two different Bent Go's that we've used the past two years linked to my Amazon storefront. If you're interested, I highly recommend the bingo like 100 percent. i'm not sponsored by them but i absolutely love the bingo <laughs> um but that's one of the reasons why i picked that is because it's all one compartment so he has like you know three or four different sections that i can put food in and he can pick and open it up and see everything that's there and eat and be done um love it let's see what's next keep it simple keep it simple like I said at the beginning it doesn't have to be brand new foods every single day like if you know alternate things alternate the fruit alternate the veggies um, keep it simple and keep it simple with the foods that they like if it's if your kid okay, literally <laughs> if your kiddo is super super picky and only wants a peanut butter sandwich and goldfish and carrots and um, grapes every single day then pack it every single day if they're gonna eat it then pack it because you got to think this is only one meal a day so 
they have breakfast to have variety they have the meals at home to have variety they have the meals on the weekend to have variety and you know if you're worried about the nutrition and everything and like them not getting certain things in do that on the weekends do it at night sneak in some extra veggies in your spaghetti sauce or you know something like that like don't overthink feeding your kiddos i promise like I, like I said, I don't share my lunches anymore on here because I got so much hate for them, for them. But literally, he eats like 70 to 80 percent of kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's super, super picky, and he's not the only picky kid in this world. And if he only wanted peanut butter sandwiches every day for lunch, I would pack him a peanut butter sandwich every day for lunch because I knew know that he is going to be fed. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, we pack similar lunches week to week because it's stuff that he likes. It's stuff that I know he likes. Now here in the district that we're in, he gets free breakfast, lunch um, at the school. So um, there is times where he might eat a cheeseburger or, you know, he might go through the line and be like, oh, well, that sounds better than what I have. And that's totally fine. And I've told him that. I said, if you go through the line and it sounds better, then go for it go for it baby you eat what's in the school <laughs> because where it is free they have to go through the line regardless which I totally understand that um, but there's certain days that it's stuff that he's not going to eat and I would rather pack his lunch knowing that he has that option and that he's going to get fed than him go and not have anything at all and then him not eat it you know what I'm saying so that just goes back to fed is best if it's the same thing every single day then so be it <laughs> so be it Okay, a couple of my um, tips and tricks for lunches. If you have the little squirt bottles, so like we pack DIY Lunchables all the time. It's the pizza DIY Lunchables. We have the little, like the little non bread. We have the cheese. I pack in black olives because um, that's what he likes on pizzas. But then we have these little like sauce squirt bottles. Well, when you try to take a spoon and put that in the container, it is so hard. So my tip, I cut off the tip of one of those like squirter medicine bottles. What's up, bud? <laughs> um, I took the tip and cut it off and it made it bigger. And so that way I could squirt up the sauce, put it in the container, screw the lid on. It was no mess at all. It was amazing. Something so simple, so simple, but it literally made a world of difference with not making a huge mess. Love that. And then another thing is that I like to do is I put a napkin in with, if I pack him a sandwich, if it's bologna, peanut butter, anything like that, if I pack him a sandwich, I put a, a paper towel, I wrap it in a paper towel, put it in his lunchbox because I've noticed that if I don't do that, the bread gets super soggy. I don't know if it's just the cold pack from, you know, having it, having it on the lunchbox or what, but like even when I, when I used to pack Luke's lunches, my husband, it was the same way. If I didn't put a napkin in there, his bread would be soggy. So I've always put a napkin in with his sandwiches, both boys' sandwiches, um, and it has made a world of a difference with it not being soggy. So if you're noticing soggy sandwiches, try that tip and see if it works. And then I've got always get a lot of questions on how to not turn the apples or pears um, brown. So what I do is I take and soak them in apple juice. I cut them up, soak them in apple juice overnight, and then I put them right in his lunchbox that next morning. They do not turn brown at all. Like there's been times where he's not ate them all, and so like when he comes home in the evening, like in the afternoons when I pick him up from school, they're still not brown. They're not. So I soak them in apple juice. I used to do like the lemon water but they make them it makes them super super sour and he just won't eat them so why not apple juice it's an apple an apple juice and it works perfect <laughs> so um i know a lot of people that do sprite i used to do sprite i don't anymore just because that's not something i buy a lot but we always have apple juice on hand um a lot of people do pineapple juice um a lot of people i've seen a couple people do water and salt i've not personally tried that um but my tip and trick on the apples is apples and pears. I do both of them the same way as apple juice. And I just cut them up, put them in a container flat, pour the apple juice over it, shut the lid, and put it in the fridge until the next morning, and you're ready to go. So, let's see. Did I say everything? I think so. 
Um, I used to do, I used to make meal planner sheets, um, monthly meal planner sheets and weekly meal planner sheets. I did have them up on my Etsy shop, but then nobody, they didn't sell, so I took them down. If you are interested in a monthly lunchbox meal planner sheet or weekly meal planner sheet, let me know in the comments down below. Um, and I either will add them to, back to my Etsy or I will just put the file like the PDF. You know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm going to put the PDF in my description box so y'all can just have it. I don't even care. Y'all can have it. <laughs> that way it makes it easy for you guys to meal plan. Like I said, you can either meal plan your lunches monthly or even weekly, but it really does help overall with, you know, budgeting for your groceries with having to buy, you know, for lunches and it helps you. And for me, I, I pack them in the morning. So you're able to kind of look like, okay, I need to cut up an apple. I need to get this ready to go. I need to get this ready to go for in the morning. And then you can look at it, pack it, you're done, pack the lunch in two seconds. Instead of waking up early in the morning, opening the fridge and like, okay, what am I gonna pack, pack today? <laughs> <laughs> so it really does help me having a meal plan for lunches. So I will have that PDF link down below for you guys. Y'all can just have it. You're welcome. <laughs> um, but that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Some tips and tricks on um, packing lunches. If you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll answer them. And that way other body, everybody else can see the question and the answer. Um, if you have any mama tips or tricks for lunches leave them in the comments as well everything helps just remember fed is best keep it simple and you got it bye guys